Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Forever 21 haul, as you can see here. So if you'd like to see some of the super cute clothes that I picked up, please keep watching. So let's start off with accessories first. I got a pair of socks. I know, super weird, but I thought these would be cute to wear with Fila's or some kind of chunky sneaker or slide. And they're gray, and then they have this kind of like mesh see-through cuff right here that would hit me like on my ankle but i thought this would be cute and maybe just like a way to like kind of like spice up an outfit but with a sock i don't know you guys i sometimes i don't know what's going on here but that just thought i just thought that would be like a cute outfit so i went ahead and got these socks then i got these earrings these are like statement earrings i love them they're so cute so i got these like I really feel like I could wear really anything like maybe something kind of like casual throw these on and just have like a pop of color or I could get like a super colorful dress and then wear these as well. Then I got this butterfly gold choker. I love chokers like that's probably like my favorite kind of jewelry. So this is what this looks like. And I'm sure you guys have heard me say this before but I don't ever really tell you guys the prices because I always get them. I always have a promo code to use, so I never pay full price. I don't ever buy anything from forever21.com unless I have a promo code, and they always do 20 or 30% off, so just be patient and wait for those codes to show up. And then the last little accessory I got are these little red earrings. Oh, they're so beautiful. They're like ceramic. They look expensive. Like, aren't those adorable? Like, how cute would these be with like an all black outfit, and then these for like a pop of color? Like, they're just so nice. They seriously, they look like they're like hand painted. They're beautiful. Ooh. Some of the stuff I got on sale for a really good deal. So if I could remember, I'll tell you guys. And then as always, everything that I can still find online, I'll link in the description box. But just because it's not online does not mean it's not in store. So definitely keep that in mind. But I got this dress and it's already undone because I tried it on to make sure it fit. This is in a size medium. And this is like one of those online only brands. So this is from the brand 205. No idea. But yeah look how cute this is so it's kind of like you would think it was a shirt but it's not it's like a shirt dress and then i should have buttoned it before i came on here but anyway so it does button all the way down and then the bottom has like this little ruffle that hits me like right underneath my butt so everything's like totally covered but it's just like super flirty i feel like this would be super cute for the spring summer or fall with some like cowboy boots would be adorable for any any time but yeah i love the print of it. it has little flowers all over it sorry guys my camera overheated but i think the last thing we're talking about was this dress then oh or was it earrings i don't know i don't even know but anyways moving on next thing i got was a super cute black dress it's kind of like that peasant material i think that's right and then it has a little bit of ruching which i think that is right i don't know i need to like google different ways on how to describe clothing but anyways it has like tighter stretchy parts so it's going to be a little bit form fitting but also a little bit relaxed fitting as well but what i like about it is if you want to wear it all the way up like this you can or you can pull it off the shoulders because it is stretchy right here and yeah, I love it. Super, super cute for the fall time. Kind of like witchy vibes, you know what I mean? I got this in a size small. Hold it back here. You could probably see it better. I love this. Then I got this dress. It was on sale, I think, for $6. I got a size medium. I also have this dress in black and white, and I got that in a small, and it was too tight on the chest. So I sized up for this one, and I thought it was, like, adorable for, like, maybe, like, a swimsuit cover-up or the summertime when it's hot, but you want to be cute but not, like, sweating because this material is super thin, super breathable. I love how flowy it looks. It's, like, the perfect, like, summer beachy dress, and it does tie at the top, but these aren't adjustable. It's kind of, like faux ties like there's already a tie and these are just for decoration but i think this is adorable i wear that with white sneakers i think that'd be super cute then i got these pants and every in the comments were like or on the reviews they're like get these pants they make your butt look so good blah 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 so i got these in a brown shade and then i went ahead and got them in this shade because i don't have anything like this i thought they were like the prettiest like I'm gonna go to brunch or this is like the spring or early summer before it gets too hot and I wanna go to breakfast. Or if I wanna go to like beach town, grab some coffee, you know, that kind of stuff. They do tie. 
So they're like the paper bag waist and then you can tie them right here up front like so i got these in a medium and they fit perfect and they are long enough they're not too short or anything like that but i love the color of these there's like a nude like a light brown a yellow and a little bit of a blue so i feel like any top would really go with this these are called the maya pant or mia pant and they're the Palazzo style, but these are like super flattering. I love them. If I could get them in every single shade, I would. I believe I got those on sale for $8, which is a steal, right? Then this went on sale. I have the dress version of this. And then these pieces went on sale for, I think it was five and four or something like that. So I got this entire album for 10 bucks, like crazy, right? So here's the top. This is what this looks like. And it does have like the tighter, like, I don't know what that is called but it has like the tighter part to where it like really like sucks in right below your chest like on your upper waist and then it is a low cut v i got this in a size medium and it fits just fine i think i could have got away with a size small too but i got this and then it has so if i didn't want to wear it together i would wear that with probably jeans or jean shorts but then it came with a skirt and everybody in the, the reviews were saying to size up so i went ahead and got a large it's a little it's like a smidge big but it doesn't look bad so i definitely suggest sizing up it does zip up the back as well and the outfit is just so cute it seriously looks like something that you would buy from a like a boutique like not forever 21 trail feels really nice it doesn't feel cheap or anything like that and I love it. And then if I just wanted to wear this, I would just wear it with like a white crop top or something like that if I didn't want to wear the two pieces together. Next, I got this skirt just for something like fun that I could wear with like solid color bodysuits or maybe even like a graphic tee, like really anything in like a denim jacket. So I just got this like super flowy skirt. I got this in a size medium, super cute. It's not like, I mean, if you want to pull it up high waisted, you could, but you know the higher you pulled up the the shorter it is but i would probably wear this like a little cropped denim jacket as well maybe a little booty sneakers whatever but i love the print and i think it's very like versatile looking like i feel like it's perfect for spring summer and the starting of fall and i got that in a medium in case i didn't tell you next i got this dress I think these dresses are made for like smaller chests, so it does look a little weird on me, but it's still really cute. It reminds me of like a doll. I don't know, it's weird. But this is what it looks like. It kinda looks like a pillowcase. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It's sleeveless, it does button in the back at the top, and then it is a little bit tighter in the chest, and then it flares at the bottom. But like how cute is this? I love this, I love this. I also got this in a size medium. Then I got this next outfit, which is pretty much the same thing as the other one, just different colors. This was also like $10 for the entire outfit. So this is the top, purple, white, cream flowers, and then it does have like the V cut in the front and then it does get a little tighter on the sides to kind of like cinch in and give you some shape. I got this in a size medium and I definitely think I could have got away with a size small as well, but I thought this was super cute. It's like the perfect like spring dressy outfit. Like if you have a wedding, birthday, some kind of like celebration or it doesn't have to be a celebration, but I think it'd be like a super cute outfit for that. Then I also got the skirt and I got in it, I got it in a large as well. It does zip up the back and then this is what the matching skirt looks like. So just like how I told you guys about the other outfit, if I didn't want to wear the pieces together, I could maybe find like a bodysuit that was like this purple color or a white bodysuit crop top whatever you know and then the same with the shirt i'd probably just wear jeans or jean shorts then i got this dress i believe i have this in black no i don't i got this for a swimsuit cover-up actually so this i got in a size why is this in a size large i'm confused i'm pretty sure i ordered this in a small huh See, that's what I get. Like normally when I get Forever 20 in the mail, I check, I open the box, make sure I got everything I ordered, and I always make sure I got the right sizes. And the one time that I didn't, I got the wrong size. So this was supposed to be in a small, but I guess I ended up getting a large. I'll make it work. But you can wear it off the shoulder, and it is a romper. It's just like super relaxed, comfortable. There are pockets, so that's great. I was gonna wear it as like a swimsuit cover up, you know? But yeah, it was super cheap. I think it was like, five bucks maybe it's super soft 
it feels like it's really breathable and be like the perfect thing to just throw on over a swimsuit and head out the door or go to the beach or if you didn't want to wear it as a swimsuit cover up then you could just wear it as your outfit like super easy i think rompers and jumpsuits are like the easiest thing to like put on because you don't have to think about it you know what i mean next i got this dress you guys i tried it on and it's so beautiful this looks like something from abercrombie this is what it looks like so it's like a lacy like baby doll dress and then it does lace up the side right here not a lot but just like right underneath the armpit but it's like so like girly and like feminine and i don't know it's like there's something like sexy about it i just can't put my finger on it but i love it it's beautiful i got this in a size small and it fits perfectly this is one of the online only brands though and this is the brand called ivy may i it's so adorable to me i probably wear this with cowboy boots honestly then um what's funny about this is i got this for my sister-in-law for christmas last year i got her a ton of like cardigans and little furry zip ups she lives in kansas so i just got her a bunch for christmas last year and then i got her this too and then i was like man i should have got that for me you know it doesn't really get that cold here in california so i'll probably have to hold on to this until we go somewhere colder for like the winter time or whatever but i found this on the sale tab for or five dollars so i was like okay i'm glad i waited because now i can buy it but i got it in a large because i wanted it to be it's a good thing I got it in a large because the large looks like a small. But it's this faux fur hooded like jacket sweater thing. This is what it looks like. But yeah, that definitely looks like a small. So I'm glad I went ahead and got a large. But I thought this would be cute. Just really, you could dress it up, dress it down, throw it on sweatpants. Like I just thought it was like super cute. It's a cropped jacket as well. Then I love Forever 21 graphic tees, especially when they look like you got them from Urban Outfitters. So I got this one right here. Tell me this doesn't look like it's from Urban Outfitters. Even the way it feels, feels like if you guys have ever bought anything from the brand Junk Food, I get a lot of my graphic tees from them as well. That's what this feels like. It's crazy, but it's way cheaper, obviously. So this is a large because I wanted it to be oversized. So I'll probably just wear it with jeans, biker shorts, yoga pants, really anything. And I'm obsessed. I love graphic tees. Then I got this super cute dress. The screams like picnic to me for some reason but it's like this gingham dress i love the ruffle detail around the top and then it also has the ruffle detail on the bottom and it looks like it's going to be like pretty tight fitting so i think hopefully it's flattering i don't know i got this in a size medium as well i love it i just think it's like super flirty and girly and cute and i'm just obsessed now i got this from the men's section and I'm obsessed with this as well. It's this oversized tie-dyed sweatshirt. I love this. Doesn't this look expensive or is it just me? Like, I love this. Definitely check the guy section. Like, I'm telling you, one, I feel like the guy stuff is like better quality, probably because they know guys don't buy clothes as often as girls. I don't know. That's just my theory anyways. But um, guys, joggers, I usually buy all my joggers from the men's section at Forever 21. I just get extra smalls. And then they have pockets. They have like the moto design on the front. They have all kinds of colors. Love them. And two, because they are a little bit longer than women's, you can wear them high-waisted. Then I also always check out their graphic tees or their solid color tees because sometimes they're between like 4 and $15, depending if it's a solid tee or a graphic tee. Then there's sweatshirts. I'm telling you, definitely check out the men's section. I got this in a size medium because I wanted it to be a little oversized and I figured if Frank wanted to wear it then he could just wear it as well you know but I love this it feels like expensive like it feels like really good quality I have two things left I just got this basic nude well it's not basic but it's a basic color I got this nude bodysuit look at this it has cutouts on the side so this is what it would look like on your side when it's on and I don't know it's just like so simple and I love the top part right here it has like a squared neck with little straps like I feel like I honestly could wear this with jeans and heels or leather pants and heels I don't know I love it or I could just dress it down and wear it with sweatpants I got that in a size medium large and it's seamless so I believe that's in like the intimate section like the lingerie section 
Last thing I got was this denim dress and I definitely sized up because denim doesn't stretch really and Forever 21 kind of runs small sometimes. So I got this white denim dress. I love it. It is so cute. Cowboy boots all the way. That's what I would wear with this. It does have like this little stretchy area right here in the back. I mean, I ain't gonna do nothing. But it does button all the way down. I love that it has like kind of like a bustier type thing right here for your chest. And then the straps are adjustable and it feels like pretty heavy, really nice quality. It's just so cute to me. So that's everything from my Forever 21 haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys later. Bye.